polyfunctional carboxylic acids. There's a lot of prefixes in chemistry. Poly means many. So many function carboxylic acids. So these are carboxylic acids that also have other functional groups. And in this class, we are, we are keeping to the very simple compounds. Organic compounds can get extremely complex, and they can have multiple functional groups. Um, so we're just going to look at some simple ones. Uh, polyfunctional carboxylic acids are very common in living organisms, and they play an important role in biochemistry. They're present in many fruits. They're used in over-the-counter skincare products and prescription drugs. And so these are some common types. You can have an unsaturated carboxylic acid. So here's the carboxyl group and a double bond. This, this means it's an alkene as well. Here's a hydroxy acid. This is a generic drawing of, a, of an alpha hydroxy acid. So this is the carboxyl carbon. And the next carbon over is the alpha. And that's got the hydroxyl group on it. And alpha hydroxy acids have become very common um, in terms of you know, helping your skin to look better. And then this is an example of a carboxylic acid with a ketone functional group in it, so a keto acid. When you have unsaturated acids, you can have um, cis-trans isomers. So unsaturated means you have at least one carbon-carbon double bond, or you could also, you know, there could be a triple bond. But with the uh, double bond, you can have the possibility for cis-trans isomers. So here's a couple of examples. Um, this is acrylic acid, which does not have cis-trans isomers, because on this carbon, this side of the double bond, this carbon has two hydrogens. To have cis-trans isomers, both carbons have to have two different groups. So there's no cis-trans isomers for that guy. But for this dicarboxylic acid, we do have um, isomers here. So here, this one's called maleic acid, and this one's called fumaric acid. And this is an unusual situation where the cis and trans isomers have actually different common names. So that's, that's pretty unusual. But on the maleic acid, we see that the hydrogens are on the same side of the carbon, carbon double bond, and here they are on the opposite side. So that's the trans isomers. Um, the common name for this is acrylic acid, propenoic acid. So one, two, three carbons is propane. It has a double bond, so it's propene. And then you take off the E and put on oic acid. And we're not going to get into, I don't believe we're going to get into naming things like that, but just I'm just explaining why the name is what it is. So that's useful in um, manufacturing polymers. And this one, its IUPAC name is butene dioic acid because four carbons, that's butane, with the double bond becomes butene. And so we've got cis butene dioic acid and trans and they've got different common names just like seriously so there they are we can also have hydroxy acids i've kind of mentioned these these are going to have one hydroxyl group and these are present in many foods and you've maybe have heard of some of these glycolic acid is found in sugar cane and sugar beets lactic acid is found in milk so sour milk, sauerkraut, dill pickles, um, malic acid, tartaric acid, and citric acid. These are found in fruits, um, some in apples, some in citrus, some in grapes. And then we've got the alpha hydroxy acids, which are used in skin care products. So here are you know, just some the drawings of some of these the structures. So this is glycolic acid, lactic acid, malic acid, tartaric acid. Now this is a dihydroxy acid. It's a diacid and it's also got two hydroxyl groups. 
Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. This is the carboxyl carbon. This would be the alpha carbon. And so lactic acid from sour milk is something that can be used to make your skin look better, which I think is something that Cleopatra did. She bathed in sour milk. It must have smelled really good. Citric acid. Yeah, this is... Anyway, there they are. Yes, lactic acid also builds up in your muscles. It's, it's a byproduct of your metabolism. And so when you exert yourself, and we'll get into that a little bit in the biochemistry section, the lactic acid builds up, and that's what, that's what causes your muscles to get stiff and sore. Another group is uh, keto acids. Pyruvic acid is the simplest one. Um, this has an, an odor that is similar to acetic acid. And if we look at it, it is similar to acetic acid, but it's got this keto group in here instead of two hydrogens. This is a metabolic acid, which means that it's involved in your metabolism.